what's up what's up class welcome back we got a good sunday guys let me give y'all time to get gather yourself let me wipe the cold out your eye guys get your stuff together i know it's early nine o'clock sunday morning all right guys hit that like button that's how you pay your school tuition keep in mind that we don't cater to any groups gangs communities or religions we cater to the truth we cater to common sense we call out bad behavior in both men and women in today's modern society, guys. All right, guys. Yeah, ready for a test day today? Today is test day. Today is Sunday test day, guys. So today's topic is New York City, guys. And we're going to be doing a lot more of the cities. You know what I mean? The feminist cities. The cities that, that are ultimately run behind the scenes. By, 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 the, by, the, by feminists. Get what I'm saying, guys? So these states are going to be crucial to, to, to exit and not settle down, especially for those of you that want to start families, those of you that want to do the traditional thing, that want to be conservative with it. It's going to be very hard to be a conservative couple living in New York. It's going to be very hard to date in New York, guys, it's going to be very hard to date in these cities that's run behind the scenes by gynocrats. These Democrat cities, guys, it's going to be very hard. You know what I mean? Because for one, guys, the rustle and bustle of New York and the amount of consumerism that goes on, this is just one big fashion show. Salute to all my guys that know what I'm talking about, that got out of New York, moved out of New York, moved on to greener pastures and doing way better for themselves. You know what I mean? And it's not a slight or a stab because I'm still here in New York. So New York, all my niggas in New York stand up. You know what I mean? If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And that's true. And we had to start applying that, guys. You see how they say, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. It's a reason why they tell you that. You know, but a lot of us grow attached to the law of New York and New York's history. That's New York's history. It's time now. I tell you all the time, when are we going to make our history, guys? You know what I mean, we grow, we, we, we tend to, we tend to doubt, our, doubt ourselves and we just start clinging to somebody else's success. So we'll cling to the city's success. What, because the Yankees win? You know what I mean? We we'll cling to this, the city, this New York City, New York, New York. Yeah, I'm from New York. But if you're not doing anything here, but creating debt and surviving, then what's 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 the what's the worth? You know what I mean, guys? So today, I plan to give you guys ten reasons why New York City is pretty much unlivable if you're a beta male or a modern woman, because See, beta males and modern women, they they eyes bigger than their stomach. They got to be like the rest of the sheep. They got to go along to get along. So they got to buy. They got to tie it. They got to buy into the consumerism. You know what I mean? They got to buy into the narratives, to the agendas, to the programming being pushed forward. And they become the majority and they become the ones that set the rules. And we know that the rules that the modern woman and beta male set, they're one-sided. They're not, they're not going to benefit everybody, the all. They're just selfish, and they're going to benefit them. And that's what we have in New York City now, guys. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Guys, take notes. And I mean, those of you that might have been thinking about moving to New York, you're going to get confirmation on why that's not a great decision. And those of you that's thinking about getting out of here, like myself, because you know what I mean, right now, you New York is a is a is a pit stop. New York is just a city where you come, get your money, and go. Get your money and just go end up somewhere else. You know what I mean? Remember, guys, success is peace. And it ain't it ain't much peace in New York right now, guys. So you could grind in New York, but don't make this your settling point. I mean, I wouldn't advise that for anybody to make this show settling point. You know what I mean? Only people, only people hot, thirsty to come to New York and to be in these streets are the people that never had a chance to be in the streets, period. You know what I mean? But the people that been here, we know. 
New York ain't ain't the way to go. It's not the same. Definitely not. All right, guys. So watch the video to the end. At the end, I'll come back and I'll give you my spill. I'm not gonna um. I'm not gonna react to the video. I'm gonna let it rock through. You guys need to listen to this one. Pay attention. Take your own notes. All right, guys. The allure of New York City continues to captivate hearts and draw visitors into its infamous streets every year. With 66 million visitors to the city in 2019, New York is arguably one of the world's most famous cities and has sat firmly within pop culture consciousness throughout the 21st century. To quote Alicia Keys' 2010 hit song Empire State of Mind, this is a concrete jungle where dreams are made of. But today, we're telling you why that might not be so much the case. Welcome to a -Lux. The birthplace of the American dream, NYC has seen generations migrate to its shores in the hopes of creating a bigger and better future. What was once a potential utopia has today become a remnant of its former self. Long gone are the days of neighborly trust and affordable living. New York City's charm is fading fast. Ever since the Dutch first arrived on the shores of Manhattan in 1624, New York City's rapid growth has seen it become the blueprint for most major cities in the modern world, taking the title for the world's tallest skyscraper from itself multiple times. One of the world's biggest financial and cultural capitals, this city has created superstars like Lady Gaga and Robert Downey Jr. We've seen countless movies portraying the glamour and glitz of NYC. But what's it really like to live there? Sex in the City's Carrie Bradshaw once said, In New York, you're always looking for a job, a boyfriend, or an apartment. Insane taxes. Well, those who naively thought that city life would be a walk in Central Park surely received a rude awakening after taking a look at their taxes. Intending to redirect funds for pandemic relief and social programs, New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo raised personal income taxes for top earners by 10.9% in April 2021, becoming the highest in the nation. While expected to end in 2027, some feel these changes could be here to stay, with Mark Stieber, Chief Tax Information Officer at Jackson Hewitt State, temporary things have a way of becoming permanent. Cost of living. And if it's not taxes, it's the cost of living. New York is notoriously expensive, 68% higher than the U.S. average. It shouldn't come as a shock, though, that everything from the cost of rent to a meal with friends can set you back big time. Basic Wi-Fi can cost you $50 a month, and a glass of house wine is nearly $9 in some places. And what about groceries? Well, you're looking at $150 more than the U.S. average. It's not uncommon for NYC locals to trek halfway across town in search of an affordable affordable store. New Yorkers ultimately spend more when buying groceries on a day-to-day -day basis. Where are the cheap avocados when you need them? With a dizzying economy and a saturated job market, the cause for the high cost of living, New York City residents would need to earn over $12,000 a month to live comfortably, a considerable amount of which would go toward paying your sky-high rent. A post-pandemic New York has seen rent prices rise back up nearly $3,000 a month, ending a short period of relief for renters during the global pandemic. New York rent prices are the highest in the city's history. And as the third most expensive city in the world to rent a two-bedroom apartment, it's no surprise 1.5 million people in New York are currently living in poverty. With limited space, some tenants are forced to rent out dingy basement apartments the size of a storage locker. Just a few miles away in New Jersey, however, you can bag yourself a studio apartment for a decent price and still have change to spare. And Aluxers, we're only getting started here. This is a dirty city. The shimmering lights of Broadway and summer nights in Central Park may not be enough to mask the relentless bad odors of New York City. Let's talk about cleanliness for a second. Commutes across the Big Apple are often tinted with the unpleasant smell of urine, courtesy of those deficient in social etiquette. Beer bottles and vomit line midtown streets, and some alleyways are to be avoided if you don't want your senses violated so early on a Monday morning. Coming in at 429 on the Global Dirtiness Index, New York is considered one of the dirtiest cities in the world. And it gets worse. The summer months see pollution create a greenhouse effect, which actually traps heat in the city and makes for an unforgiving environment. High population density, intoxicated stragglers, and the homelessness crisis are 
are all reasons your front porch may suddenly become free real estate for the inconsiderate. The excessive garbage. The cherry on top of the cake is the added scent of garbage, often plaguing city streets. Take a walk down one of the city's many avenues and you'll see what we mean. New York City produces up to 8 million tons of trash per year. That equates to a crazy 26,000 tons a day. Cleaning up after 8.5 million inhabitants is no doubt a strain on the city's sanitation department. Not to worry though, cockroaches will happily take over cleanup duties, festering amongst the trash and waiting for the perfect moment to run across your feet. New York City resident Jim Wang shares, trash bags are left at the curb for pickup. This gets disgusting in the summer or in the winter when the snow is mixed with mud and trash. Commutes from hell. Living in New York isn't for the unrealistic. Traveling to work in this concrete jungle is a job within itself. According to Geotab, only 4% of New Yorkers can get to work within 30 minutes. The hordes of people seen trying to nudge their way into a crowded subway car during rush hour wouldn't have anything to do with it, right? The copious amounts of litter and warm smells of the sewer will keep you company on street level, but once you enter the world below, prepare yourself. Plagued by a raging pest problem, insufficient funding, and outdated infrastructure, New York's subway network is failing fast. Not to mention traveling to work can see you uncomfortably close to someone's armpit or your shoes under threat from fecal matter and sticky soda. Instances of soiled train cars were up 27% from May of 2020, with line 4, 6, and 2 the dirtiest of all. Ethan Hawke famously stated, In New York, you've got Donald Trump, Woody Allen, a crack addict, and a regular Joe, and they're all on the same subway car. Even opting for a famous yellow taxi is no fun. While you might have escaped the bustling streets, you're now delayed by notorious NYC traffic, determined to make you even more late for work. New York City is the third most congested in the world, according to the Global Traffic Scorecard, the second worst in the country after Los Angeles. You'll know if you spent any time in this town at all. Moving through New York City is a regular nightmare. In the words of NYC taxi driver Travis Bickle, I think someone should just take this city and just, just flush it down the fucking toilet. Being a pedestrian in New York City is no fun either. Shoulder to shoulder with others pacing to work, impatient faces, and uninviting attitudes are to be expected on the average Manhattan morning. Home to 27,000 people per square mile, Manhattan has the highest population density in the U.S. The sound of sirens and impatient drivers honking their horn constantly fill the air. And we mean constantly, 24-7. Pulitzer Prize winner Russell Baker once said, New York is the only city in the world where you can get deliberately run down on the sidewalk by a pedestrian. Because it's the city that never sleeps. Who said achieving the American dream would be easy? Every day in NYC, millions of people wake up with the aim of stepping that bit closer to unbridled success. All this ambition can create uninviting conditions for those who actually live there. The 24-7 hustle culture has never been more apparent than in New York. New York City is the world's wealthiest city and home to more billionaires than anywhere else on the planet. Spend enough time in the city that never sleeps and you'll see a lot of people are opportunistic. Every potential job position will see you in an intense race with hungry career climbers. There's always someone smarter, more connected, or prettier than you. In this overly ambitious city, working relationships feel transactional. Everyone is trying to outdo each other, and it can leave you feeling overwhelmed. Exhaustion can quickly arise trying to keep up with the cosmopolitan lifestyle. It's unsurprising that 1.4 million residents have left the city since 2010. In New York City, time is money, so prepare for pushy locals and big egos. Egos that can easily match the size of the city. Now that was a great piece right there. Now I'll give you guys my spill. Let me give you three honorable mentions that was not mentioned in this video right here, guys. Along with the garbage, people have a dog poop problem. People don't curve their dogs. These pe that show you the irresponsibleness in these people, you know what I mean? And how lazy these people be. These people have, I'm in the Bronx right now, and it's like fucking, you know, when I tell you, 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 you play a hopscotch out there, down almost every block, you know what I mean? Cabs don't go from barrow to barrow, barrow to barrow. At a certain time, you can't get a cab from the Bronx to Manhattan 
to Harlem. Can't get a cab from Harlem to Manhattan sometimes, depending on the time of the day. You know what I mean? Shh. You, you won't be able to go from the Bronx to Brooklyn during rush hour in a cab. That is, that's a two-hour ride when normally that's, that's 35, 40 minutes. You know what I mean? So the commute, you know what I mean? Everybody moving for themselves, self, self-preservation. You can see why so many people are stressed, guys. You can see why relationships ain't working. You can see why dating ain't working. Guys, let's tie this into what we do over here, guys. You know what I mean? Where you live at, your environment, where you stay is vital to the foundation of your, you know what I mean? Your progress of your building. That's your foundation. You know what I mean? Where you at? Those are going to, that's going to dictate the, the, the women you meet, the men you meet, ladies, the women you meet, ladies, guys, that's going to, your job. Your purpose, your environment is one of the most important things. So you want to at least give yourself a, a better opportunity, a better chance at winning at this life game by setting yourself up and moving if you have to. Don't stay stuck in a bad environment because then when your tree don't grow, you know what I mean, you, you, you tend to want to blame the environment when it was the soil, guys. You know what I mean? It's the, it was the place you kept yourself in. For whatever reason, people were scared to make that move. That's why, again, salute to all of the people that made that move, that wasn't scared to be like, you know, let me go. Let me go down south. Let me go west. Let me go. You know what I mean? All right, guys. I hope you guys got the message today. Again, next Sunday, we'll be doing another one of these. Next Sunday, we'll go to L.A. Next Sunday, we'll break L.A. down. You know what I mean? Guys, hit subscribe. Share these videos. You know what I mean? Let's get it going. You guys been doing a great job. You know what I mean? I've been hitting the algorithms. We've been getting new classmates coming on in. You know what I mean? It's real important, guys, that we learn ourselves. And that's once we learn ourselves, then we can go off and, and rebuild our community again. You know what I mean? But until we learn ourselves, until we become more self-aware and through and do the personal growth and development self-improvement, we not going to be able to fix nothing. We ain't no good to nobody. All right, guys, it's been real. Two videos is about to click up so that you can watch, you can continue your viewing experience over here at the School of Common Sense. In fact, I'm going to put last Sunday's video on the, on the right, on the left, I mean, and we'll put a playlist on the right for those of you that might have missed last Sunday's educational piece, guys. All right, I can't always talk about modern women and single mothers, guys, because that'll lower my vibration, guys. You know I mean, I like to talk about everything. I can't keep y'all stuck on dumb, all right? I ain't gonna always talk about hell of a sons either, sis. You know I mean, we gotta get we gotta get up out of poverty. All right, y'all.